Hi, I'm Paul from pdhsports.com, the leading online racket specialist, and I'm here in uh, Head's headquarters in Kennelback in Austria, and I'm joined by Katrin. Katrin, you just uh, introduce yourself quickly. Of course. Hi, guys. My name is Katrin, and I'm the product manager for Backs and Caps at Head. I've been working in this position since four years now. Um, and what I basically do at my position, everything from design, sales, customers and production comes together. So I try to put everything into place so that we come up with the best product for our customers in the end. Excellent. So, Katrin, you're going to uh, give us a little insight into what is probably our most popular uh, head range of bags, which is the tour team. And this is the new tour team, which is coming out in March. Yes, it's the same for us actually, it's our very famous tour team range um, and for 2020 we're redeveloping um, the whole collection and the whole design shape and style. So what we try to do design wise is to also display the shaft asymmetry which we're um, showing on our records, also on our bags. So you can for example see this on the 6R combi on the um, top panel where we have the diagonal cut um, between the black and the grey parts on the back. So do you want, if you could just uh, give us a little look at the some of the features of these bags. Of course. What we have is the 9R Super Combi, the 6R Combi and the backpack. It's three styles out of this Tour Team collection. And for example, on the 9R Super Combi, you get two um, record compartments on the side. I can display it on top so you can also see it in the camera a little bit better. So you have the record compartments on each side. One of the record com compartments comes with our CCT um, technology, which helps to keep the temperature of your records inside the bag. Um, so what you get is an overall space for up to nine records. So that's uh, one of the bigger tour team bags. Um, and also what we try to focus as I'm talking about the compartments right now is that um, we have a much wider opening of the record compartment. So as you can see here, it goes from all the bottom down to over here. So this basically makes it super easy to put your records inside and to get a big opening to all your stuff you have in the side compartments. And then also what we have is um, differently shaped backpack straps on top of the bag. We put them on top of the bag because we're thinking that it makes sense to have them on top when you place the bag on the bottom um, so they don't get dirty basically. Yeah. Um, and you have a two-way carry system basically because you can either carry it over your shoulder, i just briefly show it like that, yeah. or you also, because the straps are a thinner shape in the middle part, you can easily carry it over your shoulder as well. Yeah. So it almost sort of goes as like a hold all as well as a racket bag. Exactly. And then also on the outside you get a big um, side accessory pocket where you can even chuck a can of balls for example or a water bottle, it's super big and you get an easy access to that as, as well. So, um, what's the main well, the main difference? Is the difference in the heights and widths with the smaller ones? Exactly. So the main difference um, is the width of the bags. So as you can see here, if you place them next to each other, you see the difference in their width. Um, so as I said, this one is the nine R Super Combi, and this uh, this is the six R Combi. This fits up to six records, and it's a bit more narrow than the nine R Super Combi. Obviously, um, you also get two record compartments on the six R. Also, one of the compartments comes with the CCT technology, as I just explained on the nine R. Um, on that one, you also get the big outside accessory pocket, as we think that's like something you need to have a quick access to additional stuff from the outside. Um, and the difference between the backpack straps on the 6R is that you get one adjustable shoulder strap, so you can either carry it over your shoulder as well, or you can carry it cross-body-wise, so whatever you prefer. Excellent. And then, so then finally, um, like we've seen sort of a big increase in popularity in the backpacks like more and more especially the juniors seem to be going towards the backpacks do you want to just give us a little insight into this backpack of course um i can totally relate because it like offers a big versatility of like you can either either 
carry it as a squash backpack or use it for something else like during the weekend or for just for like a quick trip to the city or anything. Um, for On this one you get a big opening to the main compartment. It's got stuffing inside now, <laughs> don't wonder. Um, then you get a additional accessory pocket. It's a bit hidden on the side panel for like keys or your wallet, for example. You have two side mesh pockets on like each side of the backpack for your can of balls or a water bottle, for example. And then, of course, the most important part is the um, padded record compartment on the back side where you can put up to two or even three squash records um, fit in there. And then we have a padded back um, panel and the shoe compartment, of course, <laughs> never forget that. Yeah. So you have a big opening, you can easily chuck in a pair of shoes in there. So that makes sure that um, they stay separated from the rest of the stuff you put into the main compartment. So and then, so just finally then, um, we talked a little bit about uh, the materials that are used and why they're used. I mean, for us, like the Tortin range is one of the m most robust and reliable bags, but do you want to just give us a little insight into the materials and what's... Yeah, yeah. so as you said, we're using different kind of fabrics on the Tortin bags. So for example, on the side panels, we're using PU fabric, which is kind of a fake leather fabric. Um, this give it gives it a like robust um, look and also stiffness that you need on especially the side panels. And then on the top and on the bottom panel panels where it's possible to have like a softer material and also something which is easy to clean, especially on the bottom. We're using either the shakar, which uh, you can see in the front, which got a bit more shininess, or the really stiff and robust um, 600D polyester. There you go. There's a, like an in-depth uh, look at the new tour team range. Thank you very much, Catherine, for your time today. Um, hopefully all of our viewers find that useful to see what goes into making of the tour team range. And this will be available from March at pdhsports.com. <laughs>